Hey guys, Tech Control Video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset and delete everything so that your iPad Mini 6th generation is wiped out. So if you're looking to give it away, sell it, or simply uh, trade it in, this is the thing that you want to do so that all of your information is removed with this method and will take you back to the main screen where you initially set it up. So let's get started. So before in order to uh, factory reset, something you want to consider is backing up your device either through iTunes or your uh, iCloud backup and the reason is once you do this process if you have photos videos apps and things that you want to save it will no longer be available for you unless you have a backup to restore later on so what you want to do is go open up your settings and a quick way to do backup on the iCloud is clicking on your name here and under the iCloud setting here or it says iCloud backup, you can actually click on this to back up the device. You need to make sure that you're connected to power and Wi-Fi or cellular data in order to do the backup itself. Now, once you have done the backup and you are sure that you want to factory erase it, it's really simple. All you do is uh, click on back again to your iCloud here. I usually like to just sign out first with my Apple ID before I do proceed. So I'll go ahead and sign out here by entering password you're going to click on turn off here so that your iCloud account is signed out you're going to hit that sign out and then sign out one more time it's just going to sign me out so that I make sure that my account isn't signed in after I factory reset sometimes your account if you don't sign out might stay on it and after you have done that we're going to go to general here and where it says transfer reset iPad we're going to click on that and then the second option which says erase all content and setting we're going to click on that and once we click on that, we're going to get a menu like this. It's going to sell us how much of it it's going to remove. If you have a eSIM, you can also delete the eSIM as well by clicking on continue here. And then it's going to ask for maybe your passcode for the iPad. So I'm going to enter the passcode here. And now you have a couple options here. If you want to uh, keep the eSIM card, let's say if you're resetting it because you want to set it back again, you want to keep that option. But if you're getting rid of the iPad and you're moving your sell your data over for the ones that have sell your data you want to do this option here which is delete eSIM and after you do that you'll see here this is menu will pop up and it's starting the whole reset process or the factory wipe process to delete all of your information from the iPad itself but since you have a backup if you do a backup it'll still be on the backup itself now this process generally takes maybe a minute or two maybe a few minutes depending on how much data you have or information you have for if you have tons of photos videos it might take you a little bit along but all you want to do is you want to ensure that during this process your iPad again has been well charged if it's not go ahead and charge it because you don't want the iPad to die it's one of the things I notice is that when you do this kind of process and if the iPad dies you have to reconnect it and then redo the whole process but you should see that menu again where it loads up a couple of times you see the Apple logo appear and I would wait, just keep on waiting patiently until you get to the main screen, which we'll show you in a second to mark the actual completion of the reset here. So here, as you can see here, it's the third time it's doing that reload option here, which again, like I said, just have to be patient while it's doing that process. So we'll just wait here, and this is in real time just to show you or process of the factory reset here so I'm just gonna keep on waiting here hopefully it's a little bit quicker for you guys but again just need to see this through if you need to skip through the video you can but again just to keep it in real time how long it's taking me to do a factory reset and here and this is the screen I mentioned here which is the main screen when you initially get an iPad it comes to this screen that means the iPad has been reset you can swipe up and see that if the next person is looking to set it up they'll need to go ahead and enter their information to get to the screen but your information has been reset and wiped out completely and you're good to go so I hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time